It was a night to remember for Lewandowski. Uh, his return was not what we expected. Barca were beaten by, by 2-0. Well, I think the scoreline did not really tell the whole details of the game. It was a game of two halves. It was like like we've always said. It was a game of the moment. It was a game about who um, best took their chances. And I think that um, there were a few things that we saw that were um, not too right with both teams, but Bayern were the most efficient in front of goal. And I think that. Um, I, honestly, I think the Barca played very well, especially in the first half. And um, in games like this, you need to learn to take your chances. That front trial of um, Rafinha, Dembele and Lewandowski, Lewandowski, they should have taken the game more to the Bayern defence. And I think that when all of those did not play out the way we expected it to play out, it made the defence of Bayern grow into the game. Then that changed by... Nagelsmann to bring Goretzka on. I think that he altered the direction he of the game. The Goretzka, of Goretzka came on, burst the middle, and for me, it is what it is. It is what it is. And, 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 and on, on that change, I think I, I was actually surprised he started, you know, Kimmich and Subica, mm -hmm. because all through the season mm -hmm. he's been playing Goretzka and Kimmich, and mm -hmm. they, they had formed a perfect partnership. Mm -hmm. So I was surprised that he decided Goretzka to. Goretzka actually yeah, is coming back with, from a bit of injury, okay. so. He, I'm, I'm pretty sure in the in the mind in the in the mind of the coach, he didn't really want to risk it all. I mean, knowing very well this is what could happen potentially. But I think that that change. I mean, we've spoken about depth in squad. We've spoken about teams, the very best teams in the in the in the world, having elements on their uh, on their benches, which can come on and change the the, the 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 whole dimension of the game. And this is exactly what we saw tonight. I mean. Does Xavi still have a lot of learning to do? I think that you know, he has a lot of learning to Was do. Was he naive he, tonight? It, it, it wasn't about naivety uh -huh. because, like we said, you do not need to play a perfect 90 minutes. If you have, you have a perfect 45 minutes and you take your chances and you rightfully you know, stated that in the first half, the chances were there for Lewandowski and Barcelona to actually win the game in the first half. But um, for whatever reason, they decided to squander those chances and Bayern just capitalised on uh, those missed chances by Barcelona and made use of the very two that fell their way. And if you watch the cha the goals that were scored, they were not out of a series of play, consistent series of play that you could say, okay, it's a particular pattern they are playing to. Uh, the first goal was very, very soft for me, uh, for ba the Barcelona defence to concede. The second goal, likewise, uh, Sani literally, you know, ran through the defence and, and scored that goal. But my, my excitement is with the midfield partnership. Remember when we were previewing the game, mm -hmm. I spoke about the fact that the team that is able to control the midfield will win the game. In the yeah. first in the first half, Barca controlled the midfield Gavi, and they should Busquets. have won the game. In the second yeah. half, the, the table flipped, but in Bayern controlled the midfield and they won the game. I, the naivety, I will not so much attribute it to naivety. I think I will attribute it to they they are yet to form a solid defensive partner. Let's not forget. Practically, the defensive, the back line is an entire new, new back, back line. line. Uh, Christensen, you know, Kunde, uh, the partnership of Araujo, they are trying to find their way. And I'm sure with time, they'll be able to get that chemistry. Because for, for your defense, you need that chemistry to be able to build that solidity at the back to progress from defense to attack. But for Xavi, this is about his major championship, Champions League test because yeah. he came in and the team was practically playing Europa. So like you said, it's a learning process for him. Nagasman is an experience. This is about his third Champions League season. Uh, Xavi is a learning process for him. But I don't know. Do you think Barca or Bayern need a number nine? So Barca, actually, do Bayern miss Lewandowski? I think Bayern do miss Lewandowski uh, because I, I dare say if Bayern had the Lewandowski today, it would have it, been another it, model. It would have been another because model. That's you true. see, yes, as good as the front players or the forward players of Bayern are, um, Jamal, Musiela, Saido Mani, mm -hmm. Leroy Sani, name them, I mean, Serge Nabri. Thomas Muller was off today. Exactly. And he's I mean, been off throughout the season. He's not had the best no, of starts You know, you know he, 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 lately he's played in a recalled position today, he plays like a playmaker today, for the he's team 10, 37 yes. or so so yes. he's, he's, he's so I, I i think that um um if bayern had a proper number nine yeah. 
it could have been a different story. It could have been saying a dis different script. I, I honestly think that yes. I mean, they are they have options. They have Chupo Martin, but um, I I think that that's one department that Bayern needs to mm. really mm. address if they are going to challenge with the very best in the world. That's because true. I look at their team. Yes, I mean you could talk about Alfonso Davies. I mean we had somebody <coughs> like uh, Pavan go yeah. off. And um, they had a very good replacement Lucas in their friend. Alex. Yes. And for me, if you look at the central defensive partnership, Pope Meccano, Delayed, it looks like something that could work. Could yeah, work, like, exactly. Yes. And um, they have all elements in their team up to scratch, mm -hmm. but I still think they need a number nine. I, I agree with you because if you look at the way Bayern set up, they, and, also, I'm, and I'm personally, I'm a bit surprised because their last three games, I spoke about how the he deploys a 4-2-2, but now in the last two, three games, he's gone for a 4-2-3-1, yeah. which would require, you need a proper, a proper number, number nine. nine. Sadio Mani is not a proper number nine. Sadio Mani can play out on the left, on the right, or through the middle, but he's not the guy you expect to bully his way through defenders, the guy who would hold up, play very well. It's the reason why Sadio Mani has been struggling in the last three games, because the switch in tactics is affecting the player and is affecting the team. If you watch that game against Inter Milan, if Leroy Sané had not scored that brilliant solo goal, Bayern would have struggled, though they played very well. So you spoke about they needing an number nine. I think they do. But it's all dependent on how the coach is able to switch tactics and, you know, uh, play with the element or the materials he has at this disposal. But do you think Lewandowski will be a success at Basel? Oh, I think already he's established himself as, as a very good goal scorer. The fact that today he Can missed... Can he win the Champions League with Basel? Winning the Champions League is a different ball game together. He will be successful because I still feel that Basel would win trophies as to when uh, he retires or probably how long he stays, that is another issue. But I think he will win trophies with Barca. But when it comes to the Champions League, I think it's a different ballgame because the competition is strong, the competition is tighter. Uh, the, there's City, there's Real Madrid, who, when it comes to the Champions League, there's an aura around them. They're still Liverpool, even though they're having to go through their issues. But I, I think if Lewandowski will succeed in the Champions League with Barca, it would be dependent on him because Everybody knows that he will lead the lines for Barcelona. He will need to take up that mantle and go for it. Today, he didn't go for it. I do not know whether the occasion got to him, but it was a great game of football today. I'm not sure the Barcelona fans are too disappointed because of it. Uh, a lot of people expected a mauling. And you spoke about the fact that over 4.5, but... Yes, it, yes, 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 it's a diplomatic scoreline. Yeah, but it leaves the group a uh, widely open because widely Inter, Inter open. went away to widely beat, you know, Victoria Pels in 2-0. Uh, then Barca's next game is against Inter back-to-back. -back. It's going to be an interesting game. This is a very difficult group. I, I mean, when yeah. the draw was made, we all said yes, that I this mean, is going to be the group. Any of one of those three teams could drop to the Who is likely to, the two teams likely to sail out of this group before we check out? Well, I think on the basis of what I've seen in the first two games, mm -hmm. Bayern and Barca look favourites to qualify. Possibly Bayern winning the, 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 the group stage. Most likely. All right. Uh, we don't know about you, but we need you. Tell us, who do you think, uh, between Barcelona, Inter Milan and Bayern Munich, who do you think is actually coming out of this group, either placing first or second? Uh, uh, let, let us know your, your views in the comment section. And as always, subscribe to Sports 101.